We're going to talk XRP price action. Can it hold above that 50.2 cent mark and keep the rallying going? We're also going to talk about XRP's dominance on social media. And you voted. Yes, you did. Over 600 of you. We're going to start it off with the heat map. Oh, that's not the heat map. That's camping. You guys don't care about that kind of stuff. Heat map, kind of a mix here, all right? Some winners, some losers showing up. You got Litecoin making a big move here with XRP down 1.5 percent last 24 sitting at 50.4 xlm still bucking the trend right now up two percent still holding at 9.22 bitcoin and eth rounding the two at 26 926 and 1861 respectively xrp social volume hits a one year high on optimism and network activity surge indeed the xrp token is recording a 16.2 mention rate of all digital asset discussions on social platform. That's legit number. It's highest social volume in over a year, with XRP being the second top trending crypto related keyword, according to information shared by blockchain and social metrics platform, Santiment. I got their tweet. As always, any article along with my Twitter information, because in these stories I break there faster, it's linked in the description below. XRP Network is the top trending asset in crypto as prices have jumped 22% in the past 90 days. We're also seeing historically high address activity surges for the sixth ranked market cap asset. Expect XRP's price to behave uniquely for the time being. That's right. Going to do its own thing. There's a lot of speculation out there with Torres and the crew. By the way, those charts, I've got them here. You're welcome to check them out with their social scores. Oh, a bunch of juicy debt. Uh, uh, let's leave that in. A bunch of juicy data. Reddit, Twitter, Telegram. Pick whichever ones you want. Mysterian and Sandiment highlight XRP rises. Address is holding 10,000 worth of XRP surge. So now, hey, 10,000, I think that's a pretty hefty amount. So you're seeing more bigger amounts, moderate, all right? Let's say moderate. It's more moderately sized, you know, purchases of XRP. Again, is this all being centered around, you know, possible case resolution? Hey, look, case is over. It really sets the tone. Because remember, you always have appeals in a worst case scenario. But hey, if they win, it just sets the road, right? It paves the way for them. So it's really, there's less to risk the closer we get to this. Even if they lose, think about that. Because again, appeals, Supreme Court, it would drag out. It would take a while, but Honestly, I think at the end, Supreme Court would definitely be like, yo, overreaching government, you need to back up on off of us. I said over 600 you voted. That's right. 633 of you voted saying, no, this XRP rally will not last. That's 61% of you. 39% said, yes, this rally will last. Had the same thing on over Twitter. Twitter, very similar results. 37.8 saying, yes, this rally will last. With the majority of 62.2% saying, no, this rally will not last. Swinging on over the prices, we talked about it two days in a row at that 52.5. We have now since seen two days worth of candlesticks after this sharp move on the way up. But we're holding above 50. In fact, what we're holding on to right now is 50.2. We've seen that retested time and time again over these last 12 hours. So we're keeping an eye on that price action of 50.2 and looking for some bullish news to propel us on up. Otherwise, we know what happens when we start getting below that 50 cent. Social media kind of calms down on XRP, right? And then all of a sudden, like you see less videos, less news reports, less mentions on Twitter and so forth, and it calms down again, right? So let's hope for some good news here in the next couple days to keep this rally on going and buck this latest two-day trend. There could be so many things happening, but please, please be careful because there's a whole bunch of lies going out there, a whole bunch of hopium going out there. False reports about June 14th, settlement dates, none of that stuff is real. Just people trying to get clicks and views. So be very careful out there and always remember the author. I'm going to leave that in too. Always remember the author. What about June? Who the fuck knows?